How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. So, how are things at school, Elena? Oh, pretty good, actually. Do you find it easy to communicate with people? Most of the time, yes, although there are some things that seem strange to me. For instance, sometimes when a conversation is ending, people say, Hey, let's get together soon. I used to say, Okay, when? And it always surprised people. Eventually, I realized, Let's get together soon is just a way of saying goodbye. Right. It's not really an invitation at all. It's more like a way to say that you want to stay in touch. Yeah, I know that now. So, how are things at school, Elena? Oh, pretty good, actually. So, how are things at school, Elena? Oh, pretty good, actually. Do you find it easy to communicate with people? Most of the time, yes, although there are some things that seem strange to me. Do you find it easy to communicate with people? Most of the time, yes. Although there are some things that seem strange to me. For instance, 
Sometimes when a conversation is ending, people say, hey, let's get together soon. I used to say, okay, when? For instance, sometimes when a conversation is ending, people say, hey, let's get together soon. I used to say, okay, when? And it always surprised people. Eventually, I realized, let's get together soon is just a way of saying goodbye. And it always surprised people. Eventually, I realized, let's get together soon is just a way of saying goodbye. Right. It's not really an invitation at all. It's more like a way to say that you want to stay in touch. Yeah, I know that now. Right. It's not really an invitation at all. It's more like a way to say that you want to stay in touch. Yeah, I know that now. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? Look at this. A homeless guy found a backpack with $40,000 inside. And what did he do? He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. He took it to the police. He gave it all back, every single penny. You're kidding. If I found $40,000, I wouldn't return it. I'd keep it. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. Really? What would you do with it? Well, I'd spend it. I could buy a new car or take a nice long vacation. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. The real owner might find out about it, though, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. So, what would you do if you found $40,000? Oh, you know me. I hate breaking rules, and I'd feel nervous about keeping the money. So I'd take it straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be lucky, and the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty is its own reward. But I could use a new bike. So, what would you do if you found $40,000? Oh, 
Oh, you know me. I hate breaking rules, and I'd feel nervous about keeping the money, so I'd take it straight to the police. So, what would you do if you found $40,000? Oh, you know me. I hate breaking rules, and I'd feel nervous about keeping the money, so I'd take it straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be lucky, and the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty is its own reward. But I could use a new bike. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be lucky, and the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty is its own reward. But I could use a new bike.